By the time you hear a sneeze detonate, you have T minus 60 seconds to take cover from the worst of the blast. We know this because a recent MIT study used high speed video to track vigorous sneezes and coughs, allowing us to see them for what they really are, respiratory explosions. Stick around much longer than 60 seconds and you'll be surrounded by a sneeze nebula. We're talking about multi-phase, turbulent, buoyant clouds with suspended droplets of various sizes. In other words, a violent sneeze is a microscopic spray of spittle and phlegm issuing forth like a mushroom cloud, sometimes even reaching air vents at ceiling heights within minutes. The team at MIT created a sneeze fallout model. Yes, fallout as in radioactive materials raining down after a nuclear explosion. The model was based on 50 sneezes produced by two people over several days, showing the trajectory of respiratory fluids. What you're seeing is fluid dynamics at work, specifically mucosalivary fluid fragments. Before the study was conducted, it was assumed that these fragments were formed into droplets inside the respiratory tract and then spewed forth with a sneeze. But the footage shows the fluid first passing over the lips as a sheet, then extending forward into ligaments and finally breaking off into droplets with the accompanying force of breath. While the researchers can't say exactly how much surface area is covered by a sneeze, after all, the force of particle dispersion differs depending on the sneeze, understanding the far reach of sneeze tendrils can better protect us against infectious diseases like measles, SARS, the flu, and the common cold. Not to mention bolster the mandate that we all practice the vampire sneeze and cough. So like Dracula, you simply cover your mouth with the crook of your arm, thereby containing the spray and limiting exposure. Because if you don't do this and you're sick, you are a biological warhead. And here's another tidbit. According to Dr. Alan Hirsch, a neurologist and psychologist, your sneeze says something about your personality. Kitten sneezes might denote introversion, while thunderous sneezes could signal extroversion. While you're out and about this week, make sure to drop in daily at now.howstuffworks.com. 